Okay, so this is a little caddis pupa that I use in my local rivers. Uh, I fish this under an indicator. What we're going to do is just lay some Semperfly brown olive thread down the hook. This is 8 thread. This is a size 12 nymph hook. Use whatever size 12 hook you have. What I'm going to do next is add in a little hot spot with this orange thread. That's just cheap Amazon thread from a place called Tygo Fly. I'm just going to tie that in if I can. Tie that into my hook and just wrap touching wraps of thread as best you can all the way up. making that nice and secure. All right, so now I'll just trim that off to about that length. Happy with that. Now, next thing I'm gonna add in, some hen silver wire. And we'll just add that in just at the back of the head there. And we'll run that down my side of the hook. till we get back to where we tied in our hot spot. Maybe one more wrap there. Happy with that. I'm keeping it all uniformed and the same sort of size all the way up the fly. Um, what we're gonna do now is use some green dubbing. Uh, this is a synthetic dubbing with a bit of flash in it. I was given this dubbing, so I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry about that but hair's ear would work. Um, any sort of dubbing that you, that is sort of an olive, olive green color. So what we're gonna do with the dubbing is just add in a dubbing noodle and just just add that in like that. And we're just going to come around and work our way up the hook. And we're going to stop just shy of the head, just shy of the eye. So I'll probably just I can come around there again. Now I'm going to counter wrap my silver wire. One, two, three, four, five, six wraps. And then we're going to just tie it off where we've left that gap for the head. In front and behind. Snap it off. Beautiful. Very good. Next, what I like to do is give it a brush out. I just like to brush out a few of the fibers and I like to just brush them down like so. Down and back. Gives it a nice buggy look. Now what we're going to do is create another dubbing noodle with our Super Bright from Wapsi, which is in Peacock. And this is gonna be the head. It's just like a little dark sort of peacock color. So what I'll do, again, another dubbing loop. This creates a really good contrast between the lighter color and the darker color and if you've seen a caddis pupa, you know that they've got like a, a little dark head. So we've got our noodle there, pretty happy with that. And we'll just wrap, make our little head, build a little head up. We just want to make it a little bit, there we go, just a little bit, bit 
bigger. I'm happy with that, how it is. And now we're just going to finish it. So I'm just going to put a bit of, add a little UV resin to the thread with my little resin applicator, aka chopstick. And we're going to just tie, give it a whip finish. And that will secure that thread better than you could imagine. Give it a hit. Now you see, this is why I like this dubbing. Because of if you see how it glows up on the UV, it really works really well in the water. Catches the light really well. And that's about it. If you wanted to, you could go a little bit further and brush it out a bit more, but I'm pretty happy with that. All these straggly bits, they're fine. Just leave them. If there's any that are super long, you can cut them, but don't cut them all the way off. And that's it. A very effective little caddis, this one. You've got the contrast of the head and the body, and you've got this little hot spot, which is totally optional. You can... By, by all means, add that if you want. Don't have to.